For the Muller Charitable Institutions, which has a history of 127 years, got a feather in its cap on Sunday, December 9th, when the former President of India, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, declared open the state-of-the-art Father Muller Oncology Center set up at the medical college premises. When the Missile Man of India arrived at the hospital, he was given a ceremonial welcome. Bishop of Manglo, Aloysius Paul de Souza, Father Muller Charitable Institutions Director Father Rodriguez, FMMC Administrator Father Dennis Dessa, Union Minister Oscar Fernandez received him at the entrance. His Excellency Abdul Kalam inaugurated the center. Bishop of Manglo, Aloysius Paul de Souza, blessed the center. We praise and thank you for making us your instruments of healing using the fruits of modern technology and thus cooperate with you in making the lives of the sick and suffering worth living by our efforts to heal and comfort. Shower your divine blessings on this Father Muller Oncology Center, where we hope to bring solace and healing to those suffering from the dreaded disease. Almighty God, our human weakness lays claim to your divine strength. We pray that through the skills of the doctors and the tender loving care of the nurses, may your healing gift be granted to all those The center incorporates state-of-the-art technology. The facility is equipped with a linear accelerator which is attached to the CT scan and open MRI for accurately localization of the tumor. The center has highly sophisticated intensity modulated radiation therapy IMRT and floor based image guided radiation therapy IGRT which is the first to be installed in India. Later at a stage function for the Patrick Rodriguez welcomed the gathering. Today is an extraordinary day for our institution. We wake up today to responsibilities we had never shouldered before as we dedicate the Father Muller Oncology Center to the nation. Would we be able to wipe it here, remove a pain, show a little concern? Would we be able to live up to the ideals of the founder of these institutions? Abdul Kalam, who was popularly known as the People's President during his tenure, mesmerized the audience with his inaugural address. Where there is righteousness in the heart, there is beauty in the character. Where there is beauty in the character, there is harmony in the home. When there is harmony in the home, there is order in the nation. When there is order in the nation, there is peace in the world. What did we learn out of that? The starting point, the righteous in the heart. If there is righteous in the heart, you get the beauty in the character. And the beauty in the character, then harmony in the home. Then harmony in the home leads to the order in the nation. And the order in the nation leads to the peace in the world. So how do you get the righteous in the heart? Where from you get the great lives like Augustus, Father Augustus Muller? So life is an example how we get righteous in the, righteousness in the heart. And uh, particularly for the youth below 17 years, only three people 
can give you the righteous in the heart they are father mother and then elementary school teacher if you miss this three if you miss this three then the problem is there so i am sure in the background of the great great service then by reverend father augustus muller and you all be blessed with uh, righteous in the heart so that peace in the world order in the country all is possible wish you all the best my dear friends the audience was spellbound to listen to this simple and down to earth former president of india he even interacted with the students union minister of state for labor and employment oscar fernandez released a special cover to mark the occasion blossom fernandez dr edward l nazareth Father Mulla Medical College administrator for the Dennis Dessa were also present. At the end of the program on his way out, Dr Abdul Kalam walked up to the choir of 127 members and posed with them for a photo.